I'm just coming in for a little bit to show you something really cool that I like to do with my cell phone. First of all, I have a clear plastic cell phone cover thingy, okay? And mine's an iPhone, but I don't think it matters. I've just got this. Oh, I have a text from my BFF. <laughs> oh, she's got sweet potatoes in her crock pot. Okay, so one thing I like to do is change out the how this looks when it's on my phone. I like to change it out for the seasons. And I've made these panels out of designer series paper from Stampin' Up. These are retired, but I'm just giving you an idea. See how pretty that one is? And check this one out. I'm going to I'm going to put this one in the thing so you can see it. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? This um this paper here is absolutely beautiful and I'll be honest I I'm kind of hoarding it because I don't I don't know what I want to do with it besides put it on the back of my cell phone because it is so gorgeous but I took that out this afternoon because I want to show you how to do it I'm gonna do it with these butterflies these were in celebration and if you did not get it man did you miss it because these are absolutely beautiful here's the other size side as always with Stampin' Up, you get uh, coordinating sheets that, you know, they go from one to the other. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm picking my sturdiest one, which actually, this one's sturdier. And I've got to remember that this is the wrong side and this is the right. So it's easy to use this paper because this one, what if I go that way, right? So, okay. So I know that when I put it on here... All I gotta do is cut around, okay? So I'll cut really quickly. I'm gonna move the camera down here so you can watch. And I've got some grand littles in my house, but I've waited a while to do a video. So I decided to just go for it. So actually, it'd probably be quicker because you don't wanna see her watching me cut. I might be able to speed it up, I don't know. Can you? Where are we? Here we are. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take my Stampin' Trimmer, wherever it went. I'm not using my Stampin' Trimmer. I'm using the Recollections, but it doesn't matter. Um, Stampin' Up! is actually not going to carry a trimmer for a little while because they are going to be marketing their very own and the same with the Big Shot. <clears throat> All right, come on now. There you go. I made just a little notch. So, yeah, I cut way, way long, but that's okay too. All right. Oh, I can see it really well on this side. Oh, you can't even see. I'm so sorry. I, I'm not using my phone to record because, hello, I'm putting a new back on it, right? So now that I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and do my second one. Is that adorable or what? Yeah, it's just some paper I found, and I really, really like it. Very vintagey, very fun. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it down as well. I know y'all can hear the crazy stuff in the background. Nobody's being choked <laughs> or, or snuffed out. It is the dang TV because we have men and boys. Well, man and boys. Okay, I'm just going to barely cut right here. I say barely and then I slice it off. Here's the other side. So, that's my mama. Not really, but she sure looked like that with that little short haircut and that um, carrying a pie everywhere she went or a bunt cake. That was a bunt cake, I think. Okay. So again, I'm looking at, like, this has a uh, upside down, right side up pattern. Um, so I'm going to make sure that I've got that correct. I'm going to lay this here. Okay, I'm going to trim these edges of my new paper. 
just trimming right right like this because my my case is kind of rounded see I bet y'all are wondering what I'm gonna do about that oval in the middle <laughs> I have a technique all right so that would be to just simply oh let me get him back to simply punch just a little shape of some sort in it okay so see it's a tiny punch and I didn't want to go crazy with it so I'm just gonna go like this and now I'm just going to this this is the tricky part I you know I would love to have a punch exactly this size but I don't have one so I'm improvising and I'll tell you, I get so much mileage out of this little phone cover because it's always on trend or whatever. I'm not that I need to be on trend ever. I'm not that kind of person. But it's just kind of cool, you know, to to um, have a uh, cover on your cell phone that, I don't know, nobody else has. It's just kind of neat. Unique. That's the word I'm looking for. Unique. Okay. All right. So I've got my little hole cut out there. Does it have to be perfect? No. All right. Let's cut her out too. Sadly, I'm going to use the hot perk ups, but I'm going to lose that. But it's okay. It's all right. It's paper crafting. Nobody dies. Okay. Here we go. I know y'all want to see that. Part. Oh, well, I'm actually at the top of this one. Hmm, I wonder how that's going to look. This one could be a colossal flop. Or not, I don't know. Maybe it's not that big a deal. I don't know. So, um, you know, I punched it just so I can get my scissors in there, okay? Did you know some people say scissor and other people say scissors? I've always called them scissors. What do y'all call them? Comment below. There's not a prize or a trophy or anything, and it's not a right or a wrong. It's just how people do it differently. Oh, see, that makes me sad, but hey, it's all right. It's okay. Let's see. We want our camera to be able to see out because, hello, selfie time, right? I take lots of pictures. I take way too many pictures, but guess what else? I actually print my pictures. I do. Not all of them because there's 7,000. But I do print, I do print the important ones. Okay, so just for the fun of it, this is one of the backs. Isn't that cute? Uh, you totally cannot see her cake. Well, it looks like she's holding the little button, doesn't it? Okay, lady, you can hold the button. All right, so let's try the other one. We're gonna try the butterfly, which is beautimus. Isn't that pretty? And there goes my grandson. I'm making a video. Okay. And I'll just show you. Did I even show you the others? That's kind of plain, but it was cute during Christmas. And this one's just gorgeous. It just is. Now, what else can I do? I mean, there's, there's so many different papers and stuff. Here's something that I did yesterday. This is all retired papers. And I cut them down to usable sizes and I cut down all of my cardstock that has retired. And there's so many things that can be done with these. <clears throat> and I'm very excited about them. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to use this one for a while. Hey, Grandpa. Okay, he wants to be in the video. Hey, hello. Um, I've already been in one of Gr uh, one of my gr uh, in one of Grandbo's videos. Yeah, you have. Remember that one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't already watched that one, uh, go check it out. Yeah, it's on my channel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So see, I'm I'm showing them how to do the back for a phone. Cool. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy. So here we go. All right, we're gonna bye. finish this. Oh, here. Say bye. I said bye. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. 
All right, so we're gonna finish this, and guess what? I didn't do the corners. I'm gonna try something a little different. Let me see, where's my little corner thingy? Please hold, don't go anywhere. Wait, wait, okay, here we go. It might be too big, I don't know. I'm gonna try it and see on something else. Okay, I'm gonna try it on a piece of scrap. This is a really neat tool here. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it gives me a good curve. See? Mm, there we go. It was weird the way I put it in, so. Okay, so I should go in like this and line it up. Press it. Oh, come on. What am I doing wrong, y'all? I don't know how to use it. All right, hold on. I mean, I've used it a hundred times. Well, no, I've used it probably three times. All right, so that's in there. Push down hard, and it still got chewed up in there. But that's okay. That's what my little paper snips are for. All right, why are you acting so silly? Let me see. I'm going to look up under. Okay, see? You can hold it up under. You can hold it. Um. Oh, dear. No, don't do that. Hold on. Y'all, it's hard to be me. And I've got it way over here where y'all can't even see. I'm trying to hide it. Okay, here we go. I'm not happy about that. I'm going to perfect that dang thing next time, okay? So we're going to put her in the 50s. And I'm going to put my phone in here, which... There we go. So now I've got a really fun funky phone cover and lo and behold she's holding the do willy which that would have blown her mind back in the 50s this whole thing would have blown this chick's mind wouldn't it i mean the, she remembered at this age here i'd say she's in her mid to late 20s and she would have seen the days when there were no phones no tvs because she would have been born in the 30s. Well, maybe the phones were, I think phones were around, but not everybody had one. So anyway, that is my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, me and my 50s girl are going to go make more crafts. <laughs> and I'm going to do a paper pumpkin soon. So subscribe. Be sure. Don't miss anything. All right. Toodles. And hey, y'all are loved. You are.